Hello everyone and welcome to another video on computer graphics lecture series and today we are going to cover about the history of computer graphics. So history of visual representation, human have always been visual creatures. So if we will see almost every living animal they used to have eyes that can be used to see or recognize the objects or visual information. So humans are always visual creatures and we used to recognize visual things or objects by using our eyes even before speaking language was created. Here is an example where we can say Indonesian cave painting that is around 38,000 years before Christ BCE. This graphical painting is around 40,000 years old. Now let's talk about the uh, computer graphics history and we will start from 1960s because it is the same time when the, uh, the first computer was invented and in the same days uh, the researchers started to think that how they can use computers to, to generate the graphics to present the visual information. So the term computer graphics itself was coined in the same time period in 1960s by the William Fatter and first time the video games were uh, introduced. Uh, some of the famous video game uh, names are like Space War, Tennis War 2, Pong. Over here in the first image you can see that is an example of uh, a video game, Star Wars, that was invented in 1960s and over here they try to use some sort of graphical uh, data uh, over the screen. In the same time, most of the researchers started to work and propose different techniques that can be used for the computer graphics. Uh, let's move to the 1970s. Uh, practical implementation of modeling techniques uh, were uh, started because at that time the, uh, the computers uh, started to become enough powerful by using the large scale integrations. And in that time era, different techniques including rendering, texture mapping, hidden services were used to generate the results. As you can see over here, uh, the second image uh, actually it is generated by the computer graphics by applying these techniques in 1970s. In 1980s, a lot of work has been done. In this era, modernization and commercialization of computer graphics started. A large work has been done in order to use the computer graphics for the commercial purpose in order to have more uh, powerful games, video games, to have animated movies and to enhance the existing graphical data uh, to present it in a better way. Computer graphics based movies such as Star Wars uh, were uh, start in that time period can be also known as golden era of video games uh, and sales of millions of video systems by Atari, Nintendo, Sega and other companies were uh, done by introducing uh, these games to the young audience. So we can say like 1980s is the actual time when computer graphics started to be used for the commercial purpose and before that most of the work which was done was being used for the research and uh, non-commercial use. Let's talk about uh, for 2000 era where computer modeling started to be used on a large scale for commercial activities. Uh, in the same time uh, 3D video games were uh, invented and uh, uh, being used by a very large number of uh, audience. Computer graphics also uh, adopted for TV commercials, cinema and video games. Uh, in, the, in this time period, much sophisticated CPUs and more powerful GPU hardware, uh, hardware was invented for computer graphics and uh, which, which helped a lot for uh, computer graphics field to flourish. In this time period, new gaming devices were also invented such as Sony PlayStation 2, 3 and Microsoft Xbox which got very popular. Now let's talk about the uh, current situation of the computer graphics. Now we can say that computer graphics has been short. Nowadays the movies and uh, the video games are being uh, made in Ultra HD or uh, 4K graphics which are very very good although they required a lot of processing power but because of the more sophisticated hardware available in terms of GPUs and can use uh, uh, 
uh, these ultra HD movies and games on our computing devices. Now, a new concept has been emerged with the name of virtual reality and augmented reality, where we try to see the the objects by using the virtual environment. A lot of research is going on in this field. For example, uh, Facebook is doing a lot of research and development in the field of virtual reality and augmented reality, and they already introduced. Uh, 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 Oculus Rift for the commercial use. Uh, that's it for uh, today's session. If you have any question, you can uh, uh, you can write down, and I will try to answer as uh, possible. Uh, if you still did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to share my video.